My mother and my sister were going through some of my father's old possessions and ran across some amazing vintage photos of him I'd love to share. As you can see from this one, he's wearing a white Stetson cowboy hat and a blue corduroy blazer. He's getting off an airplane in Phoenix, Arizona. My father loved to run around in the valley up north there. Shout out Phoenix. This has to be the same trip. Same blazer, same hat. But as you can see, he's got the matching pants as well. That means folks, this is not just a corduroy blazer and a white Stetson cowboy hat, oh no. This is the complete blue corduroy cowboy suit. White Stetson cowboy hat. And of course, cowboy boots that he could be spotted in walking in Times Square at midnight. He wasn't just dressing sharp at a later age though. Oh no, he started very young. As you can see from this picture, he was jazzy, snazzy, and ready to roll. This picture completely speaks for itself and I'm just gonna let you go ahead and form your own opinion about this one. He wasn't just dressing sharp at a young age, he was working hard too. As you can see from this picture, he's pushing a real mower. Now, as many of you know, a real mower isn't the easiest thing to glide across the grass, especially in the 1930s at this time in the world. I'm sure one you'd pick up from Home Depot or Lowe's today would probably be a lot easier than the one he's pushing. But look at the smile on his face nonetheless. He looks excited to be out there doing yard work. And truthfully, I'm not sure a boy of his age should be out there working that hard in the sun, but this was a different time in the world, and we definitely got a great picture of it from real mowers to snow blowers. We took a vacation to Bangor, Maine. My father absolutely fell in love. We uh, went there in the summertime. It was green. The rivers were clean. The air was beautiful. Winter came extremely fast though. We got in a situation where we couldn't make it to the mailbox. We couldn't make it to the garage. We couldn't even make it out to the patio without him snow blowing. I mean, snow drifts to the bottom of stop sign. My father, though, sucked it up, got himself a snowblower, and went to work. He loved every minute of it, I believe. See that jacket he's wearing? That is full of goose feathers. He'd walk through the house and goose feathers would just leave a trail behind him like a flock of geese headed out to snowblow the driveway. That's my sister Beth. She's turned our backyard into a farm. Hey, buddy, this is for the chickens, okay? Hey, hey, don't worry, you're next. Three quackers and a honker. Hey, hey, guys. Hi, hi Andy. Hello, everybody. Back up, I need you in here. You gonna feed everybody? Oops. Good boy. Oh, those, are, those are my toes. Sorry, ma'am. Okay, there we go. Hey, hey. There's a good boy. Let's see if we can get him to come to me. The peas. These are peas. I hate to do this to you, mother, but 1986. Looking like they just walked out of a Macy's on the way to an Easter party. My goodness, look at that hair. My father's beard though, I'm working on my beard. Me and my father spent a lot of time together. He put me to sleep with the lawnmower. As many of you might take your children for a ride in the car just so they can take a nap, he'd put me on that lawnmower, take me out, fire it up, and I'd be asleep in moments. It wouldn't matter how loud it was or what the weather was like. I feel like I was just comfortable in his arms. I miss you so much, Dad, I do. Especially at this time of year. The Kenny Rogers phase. Lost the hat, gained a vest. Lost the blazer, gained a belt. Man, he looks very happy in this picture, actually. And look at that couch. That couch looks extremely comfortable as well. My father and his bass boat. That was his pride and joy at this time in the world. Look at my glasses, though. I am as 80s as it could be. My mother's visor, too. My goodness. We did hit something on this trip, though, with the boat. Broke the propeller right off of it. Had to get the boat towed out of the water. My father ended up handling it like he always did everything, but I remember it being quite the situation. We're speeding along in the lake and the next thing you know, we slam into something. My father's a little concerned. The army, here he is, what appears to be on his way to a weekend pass. I gathered that information from the army cot behind him, but I would love to go back to time at this time in the world and just go out with him this weekend to see what he was doing. See that tweed jacket? You see that smile on his face? 
My father was a man of action, a man with a plan. That smile's genuine. He's definitely on the way to do something amazing. And I just wish I could go along for this journey. I'm not sure how old he is in this picture, but I know he joined the military young. So that is my father at a very early point in life. Well, it's December in Tucson. The holidays. Christmas. It's about my mother's favorite time of year. Every year she sits down and personally fills out a Christmas card for just about every single person, in my opinion, she's ever met. I've never seen anyone go all out like this. And this year, she took it a step further. She decided she was going to bake cookies and ship them to her closest friends. But we spent three days smelling the most beautiful baked goods you've ever smelled, knowing that they were not for us. But we gritted our teeth and just smiled knowing that the holiday season was here and Christmas is the time to spread cheer. Even if it's in the form of cookies that we could be eating ourselves. Now on this beautiful day as you see we're headed to drop these things off, get these cookies shipped out to the people she feels like needs to have them. If you did not get a batch of these cookies, I suggest you take it up with her. I know I didn't get a batch of these cookies, but I certainly snuck my fair share. It's about 75 degrees today. See this picture here? My father had just gotten a fish finder. He was trying to find an easier way to catch fish. Anyway, that's my sister Anna right there. My father was extremely happy on this day. and I'm not sure who a lot of those people are behind him because they're kind of blurred out, but that's my sister Anna and I just wanted to show you guys this one.